Okay. Let me get myself together. Oh my God. That was episode 12 of The Shipper. So I finally finished it just now. And you can see my eyes are still watering because it was whew, such a shocking ending. And oh, how do, it's like so many emotions inside of me are like going through my body right now because I'm like in shock. You know, I understand that, you know, death is reality and a part of, you know, life and everything. Um, but, oh my God, P. Kim is gone. I hope I don't spoil it for anyone if you haven't seen it yet. But you knew it was coming because it kind of, the angel of death kind of told it in the last episode that, you know, he wasn't coming back. I just didn't want to accept it because I really wanted to see P. Way, P. Kim get together. So... Oh, man, I'm devastated, and, uh, you know, it's a happy ending for, you know, everyone in the end. Um, I just have a hard time dealing with, you know, tragedies. And this BL is, you know, the shipper in this series is more about the girls writing the fiction. And it's kind of misleading because you think it's an actual BL, BL. Like, it's a BL that ends in tragedy, which is, I'm not really used to the ones in Thailand being that tragic. Like you have your happy endings usually and this one was not, it was like bittersweet. Let's put it that way, you know? Um, I was getting my thought, my train of thought just went out of my head. Uh, but uh, I wanted to say that, uh, yeah, it was really good. Like the, the ending uh, credits and everything with the dancing and stuff was, a happier note and then the ending where you see P. Kim go up to heaven oh my god it just tore me up again so um yeah this BL threw me for a loop I just did not see this any of this coming but I do understand like the fiction writing itself was you know the shipper and so uh I don't know like Japan's their BL seems a lot more tragic to me like if I was watching Japanese BL, I've seen so much tragedy in those those ones that I've watched that that's all I expect out of those. But this one kind of like sidetracked me. Like I've seen one other BL that ended very tragically. It was like a rape scene in it. The the two classmates were together and one was older and this boy like was ob obsessed with this younger classmate of his. One was like really smart. The older one was really smart. I can't remember the name of it to save my soul. I saw it early in the year. And at the end, like one, I think he raped him and then he, I don't know if he killed himself. Like it, it wasn't very clear. Like he ran out in front of some cars or something. Like they finally kind of reconcile their differences or whatever like it was like the whole family feud and that was so tragic and that was a that was an actual Thailand BL I just can't I can't remember the name of it but I mean I couldn't sleep after I watched it because it was so graphic the rape scene in it and then his friends had to take him to the hospital and I, I almost had the tip of my tongue but I just I, that's the only one I can think of that was really horrific that I've seen out of like Thailand BLs um, I'm probably sure there could be others. I haven't seen every BL there is. Like I said, November be a year of me watching BL series. This to me is more like, I don't know, what is it like when it's straight people dating? Like a boy girl. Is it that a GL? No, that's girls love. That's two girls. So is it C love CL? <laughs> so silly but I have to ask these questions because I'm new to all of this so bear with me I'm still learning terminology in this Asian series and stuff and oh I love it it's just gonna take me some while to get over you know the death of PCAM and to digest everything because there's just so much to take in you know like his brother trying to reconcile their differences and it's, everybody's little piece, puzzle pieces pieced together to kind of hold everybody, you know, to make everybody feel like they were a part of him. And I like the way that, you know, P. Way uh, interacted with P. Kim's brother at the end, at the funeral, and sharing the the, uh, the eulogy and everything. And uh, it was so sad, though. I, I just hate funerals. Like, they are the worst. 
I mean, it's your final moment to say goodbye, but the person's already gone, so like, what's the point? Like, at the hospital, you know, I don't like funerals too much. And I've seen my fair share at this point in my life. I just don't care for them. Not even in soap operas, they just stick on me for a long time. So, uh, whew, I'm all slobbering at the mouth and everything. I want to stop talking now. Um, I'm looking forward to more BL series. I've got to get back into studying my Thai language. Maybe I'll do that tonight since I my mind is just all fluttered. So if I study my Thai language, maybe that'll take my mind back to a happier place. I'm happy that this series is over. I don't think I'll be watching this one again anytime soon. It's just too, it's too tragic for somebody like me. I take in, I'm a, a wary person. Uh, I'm, I'm empath like crazy so anything tragic I just it sucks me in so hard that I can't it takes days for me to undo all of that tragedy so I don't handle tragedies very well and there you go I am who I am I won't apologize Princess Ariel I didn't even get to say sorry Di Chan Ariel Ka because I had just finished the soap opera, so I do apologize for not greeting you in Thai way, you know. In my way, way. Oh my God, forgive me. <laughs> and thank you everyone for listening, and I hope you guys tune into the BL series, Get Into Thailand. I'm telling you, once you started watching these, the acting and everything, the singing, the directing, there's a lot of production companies out there. I'm following all of them very closely. And I look forward to the next. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Sawadee ka.